frequently framed these complicated issues in the form of a simple question. Was there a quid pro quo? As I testified previously, with regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. Secretary Perry, Ambassador Volker, and I worked with Mr. Rudy Giuliani on Ukraine matters at the express direction of the President of the United States. We did not want to work with Mr. Giuliani. Simply put, we were playing the hand we were dealt. Everyone was in the loop. Again, everyone's in the loop. You confirmed to President Trump that you were in Ukraine at the time and that President Zelensky, quote, loves your ass, unquote. Do you recall saying that? Yeah, it sounds like something I would say. <laughs> That's how President Trump and I communicate, a lot of four-letter words. In this case, three-letter. <laughs> Donald Trump wanted these two investigations that would help his reelection campaign, correct? I can't characterize why he wanted them. All I can tell you is this is what we heard from Mr. Giuliani. But he had, he had to get those two investigations if that official act was going to take place, correct? He had to announce the investigations. He didn't actually have to do them as I understood it. Okay. President Zelensky had to announce the two investigations the president wanted, make a public announcement, correct? Correct. You don't have records. You don't have your notes because you didn't take notes. You don't have a lot of recollections. I mean, this is the, the, like the trifecta of unreliability. Isn't, isn't that true? Well, what I'm trying to do today is to use the limited information I have to be as forthcoming as possible with you and the rest of the committee and as these recollections have been refreshed by subsequent testimony, by some texts and emails that I've now had access to, um, I think I've filled in a lot of blanks. But a lot of it's speculation. A lot of it is your guess. And we're talking about, you know, an impeachment of the president of the United States. So the, the evidence here ought to be pretty darn good. Is this kind of a two plus two equals four conclusion that you reached? Pretty much. It's the only logical conclusion to you that, given all of these factors, that the aid was also a part of this quid pro quo? Yep. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.